What's good, everybody? I hope everybody's happy. I hope you're healthy. First things first, man, let me say I'm a fan of both guys. I'm a fan of both Jim Jones and uh, Pusha T. So let's just cut to the chase, man. Shout out to the uh, Femission podcast because I'm going to go ahead and play it. Hopefully we don't get struck. Hopefully I don't, uh, you know what I mean, I have, have to get this taken down. Uh, so it's all fair use. But uh, yeah, so bro at the Femission uh, podcast, they've got the song. They may, The song may be floating around out there um, and we're going to play it. But before we play it, the, the bars have been entertaining, right? Because nobody would ever think that Jim Jones is in the same category as Pusha T. And likewise, like these are two artists that do two totally different things. When Jim Jones responded to Pusha T's initial diss, I was impressed. All right. I think we all know, like if you follow the culture, we all know that Pusha T is, is, is pretty much considered to be one of those guys lyrically. One of my favorite rappers. Jim knows what he's doing though, man, in terms of always improving. He knows his lane. And um, he all, think about this. A lot of people don't give Jim his flowers. He always has a consistent project. His projects are all, you can listen to all of his music. But I don't think that any of us would argue if him and Pusha T were on the same level lyrically. I don't think any of us who really understand the culture and love music and are partial to bars would ever, would ever even put them in the same category. So when Jim responded, I was impressed with the response. I was I was impressed with his cadence. I was impressed with some of the bars. It was really Jim doing him on some real Harlem type shit. You know what I mean? He's basically roasting Pusher T. And it's entertaining to listen to. Now at the end of it, the first thing that was in that was in my head was now push has to end him. He's got to end him. He's got to take his head off. Because now, it looks like he can hang with you. It looks like he can hang. He's got some few funny bars here, here and there. So he's going to have to end him completely. Now we got a leak track. And I'm going to shut up. I'm going to play it. Put in the comments, man. Let me know who you think won. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. All praise due to all my algorithm. Like, share, subscribe. Let's go. In just a few bars, he's getting hella personal. This is what I expected. In just a few bars, he's talking about Jim being <laughs> Jim being uh 40 something years old and still gang banging. In just a few, let me run it back real quick, man. Look how quick he gets right to it. Because like the art of MC and it's not. How much you can say, it's also how little you can say, how simple you can make it, just in a few bars. You know what I mean? That's also, there's also an art to that too. It, and Push really has mastered that. Let, let, me, let me rewind it. Hold on. Kill. Niggas 40 plus twisting their fingers still. Duck the Rico, we know 
that nigga squeal. FBI agent with a damn record deal. Red flag waving, banging, boy chill. Jimmy hiding something, he got his record sealed. Six nine ain't the only one working the bill. We Wow. Okay. We're talking about you being 40 years old and gangbanging. And we're talking about you cooperating with the people. I don't know if Jim cooperated with the people, man. Y'all niggas talk about that. Y'all figure that out. I don't know if he did. But there is a lot of traction online where people feel that he did. Allegedly. I don't know. But just in a few bars, okay, we're talking about that, and we're talking about how you're ratting, we're talking about how you're 6'9". Hella disrespectful. And this is what I expected. This is what, this is the Pusher T that I expected was going to show up with the third verse. Now, I don't know what Jim's going to say just with, just to these few bars. What you going to say? I don't know. Come on, let me let me run it back just a little bit and uh and uh yeah. Let's go. We heard on phone tell me hiding something. He got his record seal. Six nine ain't the only one working the bill. We heard on phone taps, you Nikki Bonds for real. Stick to reality TV before I become your new damn Lebezi. You got drip, but your cornrows stay peasy. You hated on French and did Max be greasy. Free to wave. Since the ballin' days Still rap about which chains Who's the real slave Hey, killer Come get your boy Make him act his age Right beside Drake, nigga I'm digging your damn grave This is that Don't stand by that nigga You gonna get hit with him This is that I got a problem with somebody at that table We spraying the whole table That's what Pusher's doing And he had to jab Drake in there too. That's what pushes the. This is what I expected. This is what I expected. Let it go. Yeah. Jim is natural. You know what I'm saying? And then he's like, oh, he was crying. But Jim is emotional. He, he's seven on the show. He's mad emotional. He, he, he does things off emotion. Even when this, this shit is over, he going to get on the gram and do something emotional. Yeah, I'm just telling you. Oh, he, he is. He gonna write some shit. All oh, niggas and blah, blah, blah. He, He's like that. I'm telling you, he's gonna do that. That's what he's gonna do. He does that. Or go on Twitter. Or he'll wait a day or two. Cause I said it now. And do say something else. That's just the way he is. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He's just an emotional guy. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, he's crying. Yo, go to love. Go to love and hip hop. Go to love and hip hop. He crying on there too. He crying on love and hip hop. Him and Chrissy just had a show that went over there. The last show of their season, he crying on there too. Let me just say, people, like if you're, this is the danger of going to the internet, talking about family business. You know what I mean? Because these guys are friends. They're like family. They grew up together. But when you fall out, then you fall out. Well, when you fall out, it seems like people don't understand that. When you fall out, hey, yo, man, stay off the Internet telling everybody because don't nobody care. Nobody really cares about the well-being of anyone. We just want to entertain ourselves with your drama to distract from our own. We don't care about you. This is why you don't tell your business, man. Nobody cares. Because when you and your family member, you and your wife, you and your brother, you and whoever... Get back on the same page. Well, shit, nigga, that information is out there now. It's out there to be used against you. This was hella dirty. This is hella, you know what I mean, below the belt. And this type of shit is what I expected from Pusher T. This is his wheelhouse. He'd be here all day. And, you know, I mean, I love Jim and I think he's great at what he does for the lane that he's carved on his own. But I tell you, man, Pusher T is not somebody you want to fuck with in his wheelhouse. Because whatever you say, he can say better. And he has a knack of being able to find information out on people that other people can't find. This is what I'm telling you.
What's your tea? And shout out to the Dipset, man. I'm a big fan of those dudes. Always been big fans of those dudes. Pusha T's not nobody you want to fuck with. And if you want to fuck with him, boy, you better bring you better you better bring all your clips. Everything better be loaded, and you better be ready to empty them. I doubt we hear a response from Jim. Um, but if we do, I would be fascinated to see what he's going to say. This is just my breakdown, y'all. You know, we're partial to bars over here. You know what I mean? Uh, partial to bars. Uh, but shout out to both guys for the co- for the culture, keeping it on wax. Ain't nobody getting shot. Ain't nobody getting beat the fuck up. You know what I mean? It's just hip hop. Hip hop is necessarily, especially MCing, it's a contact sport, dog. You talking that shit, talking about how I'm not relevant. Okay, bink, bink. Let, now, okay, now how's that for relevance? Last thing I'll say. Because the conversation has been going on is people saying, oh, this guy's not relevant, that guy's not relevant, right? So they said that, I think Jim had mentioned um, that he didn't think that Pusher T belonged to be that high on uh, the 50 MC list. The difference is, and he justified it by, hey, we don't listen to his songs, and a lot of you guys may not. But King Push has carved a niche. High level cocaine bars is his lane. He doesn't want NBA Young Boys audience. NBA Young Boys hella creative. Like that young man is the truth. You know what I mean? The way he works, he's an artist. So he's going to evolve. He's so young. He's going to continue to evolve. He's nice as fuck. I love him. Pusha T don't care about that audience. Pusha T has his own audience. That what they want to hear, all this stuff sounds the same. Yeah, that's what we listen to that for. You know what I mean? Other artists like Conway, Benny the Butcher, 38 Special. These are guys, we don't want them to do nothing different. Carve that lane and keep feeding us that. So, and it's the same thing with Nas. I mean, you know, 21 Savage had mentioned that he thought that Nas really wasn't as relevant. And you know, you're probably right. You're probably right in the sense that he's not relevant on the radio, but you know what? Nas hasn't, you know, 21 Savage has been relevant for like 10 years. Nas has been relevant for almost 30, hasn't he? He did Illmatic, one of the best albums ever created since he was, what, 16, 17? That's when he did the album. And he's been around ever since. And there are people that want to hear from Nas Every time he drops a project, there's his crew or his audience of people that are going to support it no matter what. When you talk about the best MCs in the game, they've been mentioning Nas ever since he came in. That's relevance. Wasn't relevant for 10. He's relevant for almost 30. You guys think about that, man. I think we got to protect the culture. If we love the culture, we need to protect the culture, nurture the culture, and embrace the youth like all things can be done. But let me know what you guys think. Who do you think won? Do you think he's going to say something? I don't know. I don't know what he would have to say. But all praise to the almighty algorithm. Like, share, subscribe. Remember, you can say whatever you want over here. The only rules are talk like you got some sense and be nice. Y'all have a good one. Peace.